lessons are two pieces, um, one and a half minutes to two minutes long. One is ballet, one, and the other piece is a modern or jazz piece. You can pick which one is your strongest to be your second choice. Um, as well as you need a recommendation letter from your um, dance instructor from your local studio. Um, the whole assessment will take about 10 minutes long and they will be one at a time and you'll be videotaped during that 10 minute time frame. They should wear proper dance attire which is a leotard, um, tights and um, ballet shoes for their ballet piece and then if they're doing a jazz piece, jazz shoes. If they're doing modern, they'll dance barefoot. They do need to have their hair pulled back, hopefully in a bun or at least a pull back in a ponytail as long as it's not on their face and um, they need to bring their music. Their music needs to be either on a CD, on an iPod, or on the phone. In the ballet routines, obviously in ballet you need to have um, using the proper turnout, the movement quality, being more fluid, being more uplifted in their, in their upper bodies, being held in their core, um, having strong legs, more fluid arms, um, clean, clean technique within the ballet genre. The technique, um, I'm looking, do they use their plie, um, the coordination of their body, the clean execution of their movements, are they pointing their feet, are they holding their, you know, their leg correctly in, in their placement, are they, you know, spotting their turns, are they, you know, all the different aspects that will make them be clean technicians. Placement. Um, they are in alignment. They have great weight. Um, they know where their weight distribution is um, in their movement. Um, are they, you know, stacked up where they should be in all the different movements? Rotation and projection. Do they use their head while they're dancing? Um, in ballet terms, it's called a palmal. Do they use their their head and their upper body more? Th their eye focus. Are they, um, how they how their upper body is carriage? You know, are they confident in the way that they are articulating through the presence of their upper bodies? Musicality. Their timing. Their accents. Do they fill out the music? Do they have you know when things need to be you know syncopated? Do they you know sustain their their you know the musicality? Expressiveness. Do they have facial expressions? Do or if it's a more emotional piece, do they show emotion? Do they have a character? Do they have a style? Energy and, and or intensity. Do they have a tap? Do they you know dance like like they're almost marking it through? Do they you know give a hundred percent through their whole body? Do they you know if their arms are out? Do they just drop their you know the energy? Do they fill out everything that needs to be filled out? Do they have the flow through their transitions of the movement? Um, and also composure. Do they, you know when something happens? You know they're not going to be perfect. Can they stay composed in finishing their choreography and not let their bodies let go? Some people think they have to have their dances choreographed. They do not, but they do need to have a good foundation of the quality of the whole dance. So a lot of times people will put in lots of repetition in, a, in, the, in the pieces, showing full range of movements. So since it's only a minute and a half to two minute long, I don't want to see like if it's a chorus of the music that repeats three times, I don't want to see the same things three times. When you're called, you should have, you should be fully warmed up, ready to go, having everything prepared with your music, your card, your shoes that you need, and ready to go. We have 10 minutes and we have to get a lot, like both pieces, Plus the, um, plus the combinations afterwards in 10 minutes um, time frame. Here come a man from the start. We don't know why he goes so far and keep on marching along. Beating his drum. Clubs and sticks and bats and balls for nuclear dicks with their dialect draws that come from a parking lot town. We're nothing left in the sun.